Hundreds of frogs leaping into local neighborhoods now causing problems in Volusia County. News 6 reporter Lauren Korn shows us the bizarre sight and what's to blame for the frog invasion. We managed to find a massive colony of frogs that had crippled half of the country. Less threatening than other invasive species, but as WPTV's Kate Hussey explains, they can be just as devastating. Their raid left many people wondering if they should just shift from their homes. Since their arrival in 1935, these ecological terrorists have been charging forward in massive numbers. But that's only one of the surprises you'll see today. Stay tuned till the end to know more. Let's dive right in. Number one, trouble in the neighborhood. Imagine waking up one day to see your house invaded by frog. Not 10, not 20, hundreds of frog everywhere. And that's just the number of frog. The number of eggs these intruders left behind crossed thousands, only in the swimming pool. I can only wonder where else these frogs left behind eggs. This eerie experience left the neighborhood shocked and scurrying to find a frog catcher. And it's just not humans at risk of these frogs. Snakes do, and other predators who feed on them face grave danger. While a few people managed to skim out the intruders, others were left restless. They were everywhere, in houses, in backyards, and even on roads. Like and subscribe right now, and you'll have amazing luck for the rest of the week. At one point, it got so bad that the main highway had to be blocked. Talk about a bad day to drive. Master climbers and experts in disguise, these are the green tree frogs. As their name suggests, they like trees. But that doesn't mean they don't like a change of environment every once in a while. So these pesky intruders decided to set up camp in Florida for the holidays. The sudden invasion left the people hearing croaking sounds in the middle of the day. That's the thing about these frogs. Their unique call makes them swell up like a big balloon. The downside is that it echoes far and long, spreading to nearly 300 feet. They're multiplying and killing off the tree frogs that first called Florida home. So getting a good sleep was obviously becoming an issue. Sadly, the late night calls weren't the only problem. Experts believe that these frogs marched into the state carrying allergies. These frogs have a special weapon against predators the toxin covering their bodies. It might stave off the predators, but can also cause allergic reactions in humans. With the invasion, many people started getting sick. Authorities had to be called to wipe out this infectious population from the neighborhood. Can you guess how many frogs were collected by the authorities? Nearly 400,000. I don't think they only planned on spending the holidays here. Before I show you the nasty clip, let me tell you something about toads. All toads are frogs but all frogs are not toads. Now that I have cleared that up, let me introduce you to the deadliest toad on earth, the cane toad. This guy packs a cocktail of toxic poison. A single bite is enough to kill an adult crocodile. If you find this toad in the jungle, there is a high chance that you'll see many big names running away from this bully. Even if some predator catches this toad, they will die right after they gobble it whole. You see, the toad has toxic glands right on top of its body. When the animal bites into the frog, the deadly poison fills up the predator and turns them into dead meat. And Bufo hasn't come alone. He runs with a gang, an enormous gang. It is never a fair fight, but this guy isn't just a nuisance in the wild. It can also create havoc in your neighborhood. The cane toad is known to create a messy invasion wherever it goes. The problem is that it never travels alone. It always brings an army of millions that can raid thousands of square miles of area. People have no choice but to see them as their unwanted neighbor. But they aren't exactly harmless. Experts believe that the venom of this toad can kill a small child if it is swallowed. That's not all. The females lay up to 20,000 eggs in one go. It is like an infectious disease that keeps on growing. This is why authorities are often spotted picking up these frogs to give them a proper goodbye. This frog is no soldier, but it lives in a bunker. The desert rain frog is not like other frog species. It doesn't hop around like a crazy maniac or make a croaky sound. Instead, it swells up to the likes of a squeaky dog toy and walks on its tiny leg. That's not the only unusual thing about my friend right here. As the name suggests, the rain frog only emerges after the rain. Otherwise, it prefers a low profile and is mostly found buried under the sand. When it does come out, it is to go out on a hunt to eat a hundred termites in a single sitting. The diminutive male being stuck on goes with her. He will fertilize the eggs later below ground. The only time you'll find them in a large number is when the mating season drops by. But boy, does it get chaotic. The male frogs are so tiny they can't hold on to the female frog. So 
What do they do? They squirt out a small amount of glue that helps them stick onto the female. But since the females only come out of the sand for a short amount of time, you'd almost always find a large crowd of males hovering over one female frog. Sounds like the perfect date. If you think frogs are cute, you've never met this warmonger. Known as the bullfrog, it is an absolute savage. The frog will eat just about anything, even one of its own, all to fill that giant belly. No one can slip away from this frog, from snakes and rodents to spiders and scorpion. With a massive mouth and the power to leap up to 20 feet, they can grow into terrifying eating machine. No wonder they grow up to half a feet long. But real aggressiveness comes into play when it is time to mate. They've been known to swim 20 feet to shore and hop an additional 15 to 20 feet. As you can see in this clip here, a war has broken out between the male bullfrog. The winner gets it all, the female, the bragging rights, and the center spot. The center spot is always up for grab. Only the strongest male fights to keep it. So the battle never stops, even if it ends up turning the lake into a chaotic WWE arena. This little guy is called the glass frog. It has nothing to hide, not even its organ, but they are masters at hiding. The glass frogs aren't exactly transparent. Instead, they are translucent which allows them to mimic the style of the leaves they sit on. This secret weapon, combined with their incredibly tiny size, makes them practically invisible in the wild. But this superpower only works when the frogs don't have any eggs to protect. The tiny tadpoles perched on the leaves become an easy and open target for predators. So the father glass frog always has to be on guard. A male glass frog calls for a mate, and a female responds. Spurred by the rain, they both come down to the stream. YouTube. Like this ninja dad here, he saw the army of wasps flying towards the target but didn't even flinch. Although the wasps are almost equal to the size of the frog, it isn't a problem for this glass frog. When the wasps come flying, the dad squats them away like flies. Now, that's some super ninja moves. This isn't a weird myth or the result of an experiment gone wrong. Hairy frogs exist and are among the most bizarre frogs in the world. Yet that's not the most strange thing about them. The hairy frogs pack a lot of secrets, but none of them are normal. They have an incredibly rare defense strategy wrapped up like an exploding gift for predators to open. When the hunter comes lurking, the frog breaks up its bones like a creepy zombie, pushing the edge out of the skin. This ultimately creates a claw for the frog to use against the predators but it doesn't single out the frog by giving it a battle scar. No, the frog can repair its bones and get back into shape. Oh right, the hair. That doesn't do much. It helps them breathe when they are down underwater. The creepy lurkers are found mostly at the bottom of the water. So don't waste your time looking for a ninja battle going on in the air. If there are frogs, there is bound to be something eerie happening on the side. This case isn't any different. This is the Sorinum toad, and there's nothing normal about them. The exotic species has a unique birthing method that will leave you gawking. Before I show you the clip, let me tell you something. Their skin holds many things. A mild toxin, a muddy exterior to blend in, and tiny pores from where the babies come out. Wait, what? Yes, the back of the frog's body is a breeding ground. Emerging from their mother's back, placed there during laying and fertilization, the eggs become embedded in their mother's flesh. Once the mating is done, the eggs hitch a ride on the female's back. She lays low during that time, waiting for the eggs to hatch. After a few weeks, the eggs turn into tadpoles and the tadpoles into frog. Then the hour strikes for an army of baby frogs to slip out of the mother's back like tiny aliens on the run. Some people surely crawl under your skin. If you've ever wondered what a turtle would look like without its shell, you can stop guessing. I present to you the turtle frog. These frogs look like chewed out bubble gum, but they have many oddities besides their slimy appearance. Our tiny friend here does not grow more than two inches long, but they have the biggest eggs in the frog world. What's surprising is that this is probably the only frog species that doesn't have a tadpole stage. Named for its appearance, the most unusual frog I have ever seen, but look at its head. That dome-shaped head with the black beady little eyes and then the circular body. Tiny frog babies hatch out of the eggs directly. But if you want to go and look for them, it might be a long ride. They are only in Australia and are incredibly hard to find. The frogs prefer to stay underground and pop out at night, but only after the rain. No wonder it took so long to get good footage of them. 
This is the Vietnamese mossy frog, and they have only one trick up their sleeve, hiding in plain sight. Watch how this tiny frog blends right in with the small clump of moss. It might be the only frog species whose eyes fit right in with the colors of its body. They are basically the Houdinis of the animal world. Uh, they're developing, when their eggs and larvae develop in warmer water, they turn out to be boys, majority of boys. And when they... Uh... But hiding doesn't always work. Their predators can almost catch the moss moving and lunge at the frog for a quick snack. This is when the frog becomes a spy. It feigns death and stands very still at its spot. Green on green on green. It is almost as if nothing is there. Blink and you might miss it. That's how this sly tactic works against the bullies of the wild, too. Meet the frog that can fly. This is Wallace's flying frog, a unique species from the frog world. The animal technically doesn't fly, but the way it glides from one tree to another, it almost looks like flying. The frog can easily cover distances of 50 feet. His discovery was like science fiction, a whole new concept of what a frog could be, which is impressive enough to earn them their name. If you want a bit of context, 50 feet is equivalent to a five-story building. For a frog that is smaller than a credit card, jumping at such lengths is nothing short of extraordinary. Next, we have a frog similar to a flying frog, but do not mistake one for the other. They do have some slight differences. If the flying frog is the pilot, the gliding frog is the co-pilot. The tree frogs are not as skillful at covering long distances as the flying frog. They stick to using their parachutes for small falls or to leap from one leaf to another. Here's a clip to get a bit more reference. The large tree frog was spotted climbing up the vine like a sneaky thief. The snake moves effortlessly through the branches, closing in on the frogs. With nowhere to hide, the frogs take a leap of faith. They prefer staying above the ground. Their sticky hands and feet help them get there. But the wild is filled with lurking predators like this snake here. Luckily, the frog has a backup plan. Free fall tens of feet down on the ground. So, the frog takes the leap of faith and falls into a controlled gliding motion. The shock absorbers on its body make sure that it sticks to the landing. Pretty neat, right? This is the tale of the purple frog, but the story's short. This frog comes from a family of amphibians that evolved 130 million years ago. Maybe the trauma of the world above forces them to stay underground, but that's where they prefer to be for the whole year. They only pop out once a year for a day to mate. Once that's done, the couple goes back to their home in the burrow. Nobody knows what these animals do while they are down in that hole. Very little is known about them, as they spend 364 days a year burrowed deep underground. Scientists who have been studying them for decades haven't solved the mystery yet. The only thing they know about this pig-snouted frog is its mating behavior. The tiny male hitches a ride on the back of the female and goes to the breeding ground. Together, they fertilize two to 3,000 eggs and then race back to their hideout. This tiny fella is the pebble toad with a pretty sly trick up its sleeves. This toad does not grow more than two inches. You'd almost always find it perched on the high ground. They are incredible climbers, so covering the summit of a tall cliff is no big deal to them. The problem comes when a predator is lurking nearby. Look at this clip here. This guy was busy climbing when he sensed a tarantula near the edge. Many of the reptiles in it amphibians that have gotten to the summits are actually pretty recently arrived. What does it do? It falls off the cliff. Don't worry, it is a defense tactic. The pebble toad folds its limbs under its body and tucks its head in whenever it feels threatened. It can turn into a tennis ball and roll over the rocky terrain by tensing its muscles. The toad was spotted making a perfect landing and moving on to the next spot to climb. Meet the tomato frog, the animal that looks like a ripe tomato, but they represent the color red more than you think. The frogs have a way of swelling up like balloons to intimidate the predators. When they see the giant body, they turn a sweet corner. Sometimes the matter doesn't go that far. The predators see the frog's red color and take it as a warning not to approach this meal. If all this fails and the animal is too hungry to care about all the warning. And because amphibians uh, absorb everything and anything through their skin, it's really important that you use pure dechlorinated water. The empty threats turn into a reality. The frog releases a sticky toxic substance that turns the predator's rash decision into instant regret. Yes, the toxin does leave a rash and it is very irritating for the predators. Despite all of this, humans decided to keep them as pets. Turns out they are great at it. 
This is the Amazon milk frog. Like all the bizarre animals in the Amazon, this frog isn't different. Their name stems from a defense tactic that they have in store for the predators. When it feels stressed, the frog releases a milky white substance. The venom is not as toxic as the poison from other frog, but it gets the job done and sends the predator running in the opposite direction. This frog you see right here is the pumpkin toadlet, and it is incredibly tiny. No, seriously, they are one of the tiniest frogs in the world, less than an inch long. Their small size might earn them a few names, but it has brought them more trouble than necessary. For starters, they can't jump properly. They can hop, but the part where they are supposed to land is edgy, to say the least. They will just sort of flop around erratically after they land. The second bizarre thing about these frogs is that they can't hear their own mating call. Yep. When they are out there singing love songs, they are basically humming to themselves because their soulmate can't hear them. Somehow, they still reproduce, which is a big mystery. The snake with the deadliest poison is the Inland Tai Pawn. Make that venom a hundred times more toxic, and you'll have the weapon of the poison dart frog. These frogs are the size of a human thumb, but they pack the deadliest poison, enough to kill a grown human being. That's probably why they don't have any hiding spot. They are confident enough to roam and hop out in the open among a gang of predators. Their bright colors remind anybody who tries catching them. A father will place each one of his tadpoles in its own tiny pool of water. That they will turn into dead meat. There are many species of the poison dart frog, but there is a tiny king that rules that small kingdom too, the golden poison dart frog. This guy packs a toxic poison on its skin that can take the lives of 20,000 mice. Still think they are cute? This is the tree hole frog, and it has found a smart way to live in the wild. The frog is about the size of a fingernail. Being small, its calls get mixed up with the croaks of the bigger frog. That kind of ruins its date. So, the frog goes to a tree and uses the hole like a microphone, amplifying its tiny squeaks to guide the female frog to him. That has to be the most romantic thing in the frog world. This isn't your average skincare tutorial. It is a reel from the froggy Instagram, and this guy is probably a popular influencer there. Meet the waxy monkey tree frog that lives high up. Frogs can manage to reach all those odd places that the rest of us find a little tricky. Exposed to the sun, frogs need to stay moist, and this guy is too lazy to find a cold spot. So, it produces a waxy substance that helps it protect itself from dry sunlight. What you're seeing here is a frog applying sunblock all over its body. I bet he's doing it better than you. This is probably the most insane birthing of tadpoles you'll see today. Meet the Japanese tree frogs that mate when there's foam. The female releases this foamy white substance that turns into a small nest. She lays the eggs, and the foamy nest gathers all the males. Each male could still fertilize some of the remaining eggs in the foam. They're coming in from all directions. Once the mating is done, the nest is left unguarded for nature to cater. The rain comes and dissolves the hardened structure, paving the way for the tadpoles to come out. We often found the nest dangling from the tree right above the water, a perfect spot for the tadpoles to take a long dive. The wood frog is one of a kind, and it has an unbeatable superpower. When the winter comes, this frog doesn't find a hiding spot. It stays put and lets the cold freeze him to death. Well, it kind of almost froze to death. You see, this frog has an antifreeze potion brimming inside its body the moment the cold winds enter the scene. Two thirds of its body turns into ice temporarily shutting off its heart. But the extra urine produced before the ice crystals start forming is stored in the frog's cells. This concoction packs into the frog's cells, propping them up. The antifreeze prevents too much water being drawn out of the cells by the ice outside. This, combined with the excess sugar coming from the liver, forms the antifreeze potion. It doesn't let the frog freeze to death. The frog can stay like this for months, only when the sun shines and the ice melts does the frog come out of its long sleep. It takes no more than 30 minutes for the animal to be back on its feet again. This one has a hibernation period so long that it beats the one of every other frog on the planet. The water-holding frog loves a good sleep, but more than that, they love moist weather. So, when the winds turn dry, this frog burrows a hole and goes to sleep. Survive as strong as this frog's? Well, consider these facts. Thank <laughs> you.
During the brief rainy season out here, the water-holding frog gains 50% of its body weight in water. The fascinating thing is that it is willing to stay down there for years. But when the first drop of rain hits the ground, it is time to wake up. That means filling up the belly with anything and everything. All of this is so that it has the energy to go back down and repeat it all over again. Looking at their tiny size, it sounds wrong to call them a monster. But wait until you see their eyes. That will change your mind just as it deters predators. This guy is the red-eyed tree frog. You will often find it hiding in plain sight, perched at the top of leaves, the perfect blend. But here is where it gets interesting. The frog hides its scary eyes under a membrane that resembles window blinds. Astonishing time-lapse shot. We see the eggs evolving into tadpoles. But when the predator comes marching, the frog flashes its eyes at the animal and startles it. By the time the animal figures out what's going on, the frog is long gone. If that doesn't work, the animal always has its toxin loaded up in its skin. So, if the predator is a little stubborn, it will face a much bigger threat from the frog than a pair of red eyes. Nothing about the birth of tadpoles sounds any more eerie in the frog world, right? Anything can happen. Well, prepare to be shocked, because this special method is going to leave your mouth open wide. This is the Darwin frog, and it has one of the rarest birthing methods. It may look massive, but that's not all of its weight. It is hiding something in its body. After the female lays the eggs, the male guards them. After about two weeks, he gobbles them up whole. No, it isn't an act of killing. The male's vocal sac transforms into a brooding sac right in its mouth, where the embryos turn into tadpoles and then into tiny frog baby. The tadpoles have all they need inside. After about eight weeks, the frogs are ready to come out. How does the male frog help them come out? By spitting them out, of course. Told you it would be bizarre. That's all, folks. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button and hit subscribe. If you have already been here before, you know the drill. Which of these frog species did you like the most? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and goodbye.